Evolution of Max. In the 1966 television special, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the good also known Max as is the voiced Grinch's by dog. Dallas McKinnon. Max, despite being the Grinch's pet and sidekick, is forced to do his owner's bidding out of fear of being abused. Before stealing all the food and gifts from the people of Whoville, the Grinch decides to use Max as his own reindeer, since real ones are scarce on Mount Crumpet. In the musical special Halloween is Grinch Night, Max's singing voice is performed by Henry Gibson. Max is also subjected to cruelty by the Grinch, who makes him drive a wagon filled with monsters in order to destroy Whoville. A kind little who named Eukariah meets them on the way and tries to stop the Grinch from getting to the city. In the end, Max, who had been acting gloomy and nostalgic the entire special, refuses to go back with the Grinch and instead follows Eukariah home, where he is welcomed as a hero. In the special, the Grinch Grinches the cat in the hat. Max is voiced by Frank Wilder. Yeah, for some reason, I think it always feels like instructions the Grinch always treats the Max like shit. In an attempt to bring him bad luck. Max was shown crying at the end of the special when the Grinch became emotional and started crying upon hearing a song about his mother. Max then gladly assists him in disassembling his creations. The Grinch's reflection tries to turn him back into a grump the following morning, so Max uses the vacuum sound sweeper to close the mirror. A parody version of Max appears in the episode Wonderful Tiny Toons Christmas Special of the series Tiny Toon Adventures. In the series The Wubulous World of Dr. Seuss, Max, played by Catherine Mullen in season one and Stephanie D'Abruzzo in season two, appears as the central character in the episode Max the Hero, saving a child's life and going to live with Mayor Stovepipe for some time. In the episode The Grinch Meets His Max, it was revealed that the Grinch took Max in as his pet when Max started scratching an itchy part of the Grinch's back that he couldn't reach. In the 2000 live action movie, Max is played by Kelly the dog. He was first seen when he scared the Who's with the huge monster with a Who's growl. Kelly? The Grinch was proud of him for scaring them, but got upset that the Who's wouldn't leave him alone. Later, Max was having a party by himself and had a great time revealing that he actually loved Christmas, unlike the Grinch. Also, like in the 1966 animated special, it is Max who inadvertently gives the Grinch the idea when he gets covered in snow and comes out of it looking like Santa himself. <laughs> in the seasonal musical adaptation How the Grinch Stole I've always Christmas, loved Max. In 2008, Walter Charles starred as old Max and Andrew Keenan, Bolger as young Max. In 2009, John Larroquette starred as old Max and James Royce as young Max. And from 2010 to 2015, Bob Lauder starred as Old Max and Seth Bazakas as Young Max. Max briefly appears in the episode Da Grinchy Code Duck of the series Mad, where he chases the three men. In the series Robot Chicken, Max appears with the Grinch in the episode Born Again Virgin Christmas Special. In the CGI animated movie The Grinch, Max appears voiced by Frank Welker. Unlike his previous 1966 and 2000 versions, where he was a frightened, timid dog who reluctantly did the Grinch's bidding, Max is very loving and loyal to the Grinch. Max is smarter than the average canine, almost acting as the Grinch's butler. At one point, Max does his puppy eyes in an attempt to sleep in the Grinch's bed, but the Grinch doesn't buy it. Then the Grinch's moose companion Fred does the same thing, and the Grinch relents, which he immediately regrets. He also didn't like it when his master was being mean to Cindy Lou Who and the people of Whoville, but he knew that his master had a good heart. In the musical television special, Dr. Seuss's The Grinch Musical Live, old Max is played by Dennis O'Hare, and young Max is played by Boo Boo Stewart. In the musical, Old Max narrates how his master once schemed to ruin the festive holiday for the citizens of Whoville. Max briefly appears in the Capital One commercial Toy Drive, sitting on the couch with the Grinch. Like I've been wanting to say, man, like, I've always loved when it comes to the Grinch, I've always loved Max the dog, but I've always felt bad for him because apparently, I don't know why, but the Grinch to me, would always feel like he would treat Max like shit. Like, he never really cared about him, like, like, and all that stuff. I mean, sure, he, like, cared for his dog and everything, but at the end, he just treated him, like, really poorly, and I just felt bad, man, that he had to be with that grouchy Grinch. So, yeah. But, yeah, like I said before, comment down below if you like Max.